Hi, welcome to Climax Crew's review of the cards of the week. This is the Night Shadow, and today, Busan is also with me. Hello. Alright, well, let's get started. Our first card is Gekokan High Group Member, Fuka. It's a green character, level 1, cost 0, 3000 power, 1 soul, and no trigger. Magic trait. Uh, she gives an assist, uh, so 500 power to the characters in front. And a brainstorm effect. She can pay 1 and tap 2 to mill 4. And for every climb you get, you can search for a magic or weapon, show it to the opponent, add it to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Well then, it's a brainstorm a with- <laughs> It's almost a newbie. <laughs> the sad part is Persona actually kind of wanted this because it's actually relevant traits. Yeah, it's pretty relevant. Yeah, the weapon pretty much gets all the like the main fighters um, and magic gets everybody else. I think it catches pretty much everybody except for I guess. And Juno. No, Yosuke has a uh, weapon, right? I'm not sure. Well, actually, he probably does, but I'm not sure. Most of the Yosuke that are TV-based are have weapon on them, so... And you really want those ones in uh, the Junus deck instead of the Persona group build, essentially. But, yeah, I think this is a Brainstorm that they've been looking for for a while, and... Hey, they finally have it. Even if it is weaker than the Umi Brainstorm at Love Life. You never know. Maybe that assist would make it make, make more of a difference than a, than a global. Eh, hard to say. It depends. What if they what if they assist X that actually matters? I don't think they do. You never know. There's still two weeks worth of persona to go through. That's true. Okay, so our second card, Gekokan High Group, Akihiko. Magic and Sports trait, level 1, cost 0, 3000 power. Uh, this is a level 1 reverser, and when it reverses an opponent, you can pay 1 to send it to memory. It's worth it for, it's worth it for huh. the IG Encore. That's true, I guess. Level 1 reverser is always nice, I think. I think that uh, they're starting to see a lot more play than they used to, and I think that's a good thing. The, the thing is that uh, Persona already had two other level 1 reverser cards. This one, yeah. just, this is the, literally, literally their third one. The, were the previous ones Kanji? Um, I think one of them was Kanji. One of them was Kanji, I believe. Yeah, one of them was definitely Kanji. I don't remember the last one was, but I think it's Persona 3. Okay, so Mitsuru, maybe. I know, they, I know already they had two. I'm just surprised they got a third one. I guess you would use it for the anti anti encore effect, really. I guess if not, then you, I guess the other two are better. Because if, if I recall correct, the kanji one's like thirty five hundred power. I, I believe the kanji one is just a basic suicider. Yeah, so I think you'll probably use. You, you, I'll, do, I'll, I'll do like this. You, if you get this, you already have. Uh, you if you already have uh, a kanji. A kanji, you probably use this one more to get power on a suicide. is pretty irrelevant unless you're like. I don't know. Unless you like. Unless you play like rewrite, then it actually becomes relevant because that suicide actually has enough power to live. Or if you're playing um, Nisimono and you have um, the level two suicider, that that's different. Yeah, it, it is, but yeah. Okay, our third card, Gekokan High Group Member Junpei. Level one, cost one, two k power with the magic and weapon trait. It's a fifteen hundred backup, and if you use the rec if you use this card's backup, and your opponent has cards in their memory, choose the battling character, give it fifteen hundred, so it becomes a three k counter. This is the first card, if I recall correctly, that does something if your opponent has cards in memory. Yes, it's the very first one. In fact, uh, people call this the anti anti memory, but in fact that. Persona was already able to put uh, cards into cards to opponent memory ever since the game ever started. So you can't really call this an anti-memory when Persona was able to do it like since the begin beginning of Wise. Uh, if you guys wonder what card did it, it uh, in Persona 3 there was a was a Shinjiro card where you play just send a card, event card from your mem from the winning room to memory like straight up. And then, in, right. and then in uh, Persona 4 animation, there is a Chie card that easily kicks a card to memory. <laughs> <laughs> so I could see this card being used with Chie and, and uh, that level 1 series I just mentioned. Well, maybe not Chie so much, but... Well, yeah. I think the Chie actually more so because it's costless. Oh, well, I know it's costless. 6k, and then if you use this counter, it becomes 9k, and whatever the does defeat goes right to clock, uh, memory right away. Of course, you can see that's a uh, demerit as well at some point, maybe. See, see, my problem with them calling it anti-memory is uh, like, is that this isn't much of a bonus. It's sure it's a three K counter at level one, but Vivid Red gets that. Like, it's not much of a bonus. Well, if you think of it this way, if it's more of an anti, uh, you could oh, if if you you know if your meta is like memory heavy, memory heavy, then this card could be easily tucked in as a counter to everything, and you don't have to do shit about it. That's true. Uh, okay, I, I see what you mean. Okay. That's Makes that, sense. of course. On uh, the other hand, if you really want to make sure you use it, then you'll you'll be using that level one suicider. You'll be using that level zero suicider. You'll be using Chia to make it work properly. Otherwise, you probably will be using this counter. 
I mean, like, there's no point using a 1-1-1500 one, one, counter when you can use a 1-0 with the exact same thing. Exactly. Okay, next card. Yasuga Yasugami High Group Member, Risei. Uh, green character, level 2, cost 1, 8,000 power with the music and television trait. Uh, when this card is reversed in battle, you can mill one card, and if that card is a level 0 or lower character, climaxes don't count, neither do, do events, you may place this card into your stock. By average... I average 16 out of 50, no, 16 out of 49 to be more exact. I guess I would like it more if it also counted climaxes, but if it, because it doesn't, it's, it's not a 50% chance, it's more like... 33? Ew, worse. I think worse because you usually put zeros in your level zone. Uh, yeah, Persona don't, doesn't have an experience base uh, yeah. team going on, so if you, all you so have is level zeros and ones. So even it, assuming that you've refreshed with 33 cards and there's 14 zeros remaining, uh, all zero, 14 zeros made it back, I don't know, it... it just doesn't seem like it's reliable, and it, I don't think it's worth taking the 500 and hit. Nah. Especially when you have better level 2s that you can play for zero cost because of Persona's play over gimmick, essentially. Uh, well, I just played that 0 0, zero, zero um, reset that gives one card 1k, and then I'll just play over it, just, just any year one, just for the hell of it. Yeah, to be honest, that's far, that combo is far better than this one. Exactly. I mean, like, that card cost, it becomes a like costless minus 1 that's like 9 5, it's much stronger. I don't think I like that card. All right, and okay. Uh, um, our last card of uh, Persona Q for this week is Resident of the Velvet Room, Elizabeth, Magic and Infirmary. Level two costs one five thousand power. It's a level assist where power equal to the level times five hundred in front. And when you play the Gate Climax, a uh, noisy meal, you can pay one. If you do, give a character two K, and when it reverses a character, draw a card. You know, you you expect to have a draw trigger. I do, yeah. It's just like it's like a subtle way. It's like, hey, everybody's getting the gate nowadays. Why don't we give it to them? I heard I heard this card was actually on a uh, Nisa Court card for free. Yeah, that, that that's right. It is. I guess it what that easy three K. I guess, but I don't really see a reason. I mean, like, if the card ends up to get reversed anyways, then that kind of suck. Because it's a gay trigger, that means it should be easier to do. Still, uh, it's not like, sure, Persona's not exactly a power-heavy set, but... You know, this is one of those combos where you wish it, where you wish it just, it just wasn't there. <sighs> it's just like, well, not necessarily. You don't really need power on a level assist, do you? Like, all that's being given up is power. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you're Climax running combo, combo, Climax combo on a level support is usually never, usually never, never a good sign anyways. Even if it salvages? Depends on the card. Okay. I mean, like, yeah. like, it depends on Climax um, card. On this thing, I can see it being run if they want to put a bit more power into it, but this is typically not the kind of card that Persona's looking for. It's a it's question of whether anyone would use it that outside of being a level support. Of course. Yeah, not much else to say about that. It's pretty just straightforward and whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I, I don't know what power, to think about that. Level support with power boost on a gate on a gate climax. There's not much to say about it. Yeah. The fact it costs you a stock doesn't uh, uh, hurts a bit more. I just don't know what to think about that card. It's just there. I'm trying to think about okay. Um, just they have, but I don't know what I don't know their card list, so I can't say for I can't say anything. Persona. Yeah. No level support. Yeah. Uh, this lineup. I thought the Risei level support was better. I think. I think it's Risei, the green one. I guess it, I guess now that I guess now that it just goes to the color. Mm, I guess I guess if you if you're just going for the color, I guess that's what that works. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, uh, moving on to Little Buster's card mission. Uh, little cheerful girl Rin, a yellow character, level one, cost zero, five thousand power, animal trait, and when this is played from your hand to the stage, gain five hundred times the number of animal characters um, for the rest of the turn. It counts itself, by the way. Max power is 75 for free. After that, it becomes become pretty useless. I don't think that animal really needed a power like um like a one turn nuke. They already have the code and they no, have that, a one. The, one the support thing is, the, the code required a climax to become a proper nuke, anyways. Which one? The climax combo one, right? Oh no no no! I'm talking about the green code. Oh, you might doubt. Yeah, because that's the that's the most stable uh, animal at level one. I mean, sure you can do some weird red shenanigans and tech in the visual arts uh, code, but the most stable one is the green one, and the blue one is starting to get run less and less. You're right. If you were looking for better burst power, the blue one is better. Just uh, the green one is just more solid, and this card will do nothing to challenge it. It's nothing like Harka. Harka has some relevance to it. Yeah. 
It's also in the wrong color. Yellow is usually typically safe for level 2 and 3 if you're running the Rins. If not, and you're just running the Kuds, then you don't even bother yeah, with yellow. You, normally, yellow does have the... Yeah, when it comes to animal decks, the, it's usually green and blue that's played more at that level. Yeah, and then yellow is used primarily at level 2 because of the level assist and the animal searcher. That's mainly it. Okay, second card, Komari Stargazing. Level 2, cost 1, 7k power with the Sweets and Fairy Tale traits. Uh, during the opponent's turn, it gains 2,000 power. And when you play the gate combo, Twinkle Starlights, and the card is on the front row, you can pay 1. If you do, search for a cost 1 or lower Sweets character, aka Komari, and put it anywhere on stage. Then shuffle your deck and that character gets 1,000 power. Hey, look, it's another Komari type card. You know, I, I see this card being played more in standard, more than the Neo standard. Oh yeah, because there's a lot more sweet char sweets characters. This is an interesting tech card for the Komari deck because right now what the what the Komari fan build has to do essentially is um, get a two two into play on turn two. And while that is possible, that's probably their only way to survive, and it's not <laughs> exactly reliable. So being able to pull out um, more attackers, use up um, less cards in your hand. You do, this real you do a lot realize of this still costs a card in your hand, right? Well, you're playing a climax. I mean, like, it's, I'm assuming that you're going to be playing the climax no matter what. Well, and yeah. and really, if you have two of them out, that's a plus one essentially. Well, yeah, I guess, but you know, like Kamari builds didn't really have a way to plus hand very well. Sure, they had the draw triggers, but that's about it. Yeah. They were they were minusing so hard just to get the level two. Essentially, they discard a climax, put the level one in play, then climax combo, pull, put it in clock, grab the two two, and put it on stage, and that's typically how they would build advantage. This would help um, as a sort of backup plan in case that failed. Not much else to say about that. Yeah. It's it really goes down to what kind of what kind of cost one of lower sweets that little busters have, level one lower Kamara cards. That's not vanilla. Well, even the level one cost one vanilla is fine. Um, this is never gonna get run in the meta build. Never. I got. I think I could use this in my standard build though. Maybe. Uh, what sweets characters would you pull out? I don't know. Haruka. And. Haruka. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. I like I like that global encore. Okay, fair enough. Global encore to sweets, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah. Okay. Um, next card, Snow Queen Yuiko, music and snow traits, a uh, zero zero two thousand power, and if you have two or fewer other characters, this card gets fifteen hundred power. Is it really, it's all right. Is there really anything to say about this card? It's worse than the thirty other thirty five hundred options you have. Don't run it. Yeah, pretty much. Like, there are 3500s with essentially no drawback. Oh no, you can't play Climaxes. There's one that must, be re that must rest every card. Oh, so basically it has to attack oh, last. Attacks. Yeah, yeah. You attack so, last. unless you're facing a Yui uh, Yukiko deck, it's not really gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah, this card, it's okay. It at least has no real demerit to it. Yeah, at least, I think this is Yuiko's first 3500 though, so if you're running a Yuiko fan build, then hey, why not? And then Pillow Catchball Kud. Level 0 cost 0, 1000 power, animal and pajama traits. When this is played, you can give a character 1000, and it's a pay 1, tap this card brainstorm, and you mill 4 for every card that you, uh, for every climax that you hit. Grab a card from your clock, and then take 1 damage. Oh boy. Where do I begin with this card? <sighs> so, a little story here. We have a member in our, our play group that is a huge Kud fan, and has been running a Kud waifu build for quite a while this year. The first thing he does upon seeing this card is message me. Can I put this card in my deck? I eventually had to tell him no. So what is this is not a brainstorm that you would run in your Kud deck. And the sad part is because the mono Kud build and really most animal builds in general run the 1-1 one -one trial deck Kud um, because that's how it attains its massive uh, advantage. The only problem with that is that in order to get any sort of advantage, you have to rest those characters to give it power. And there is literally no room for Kud to tap herself just to get played over. It's maybe a last-ditch effort, but you have assists that can grab stuff out of the clock. So this card pretty much has no use, sad to say. Only in a Kud deck. It might no, 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 I was talking about animal build too. Animal builds can also retrieve from clock, no problem. Yeah, I This guess card so. has literally no place. If, if it was a searching brainstorm, this might be played. It's not. So unfortunately, this will not see play because the assists that you run at level 0 typically grab from clock anyways. In terms of spam or brainstorm, you always have to hark a card anyways. Yeah, let's see. If you really want to spam brainstorm and you need it to be animal, you have the Rin from um, Refrain. 
And if you don't need it to be animal, then you have the Haruka water shot, which is brainstorm. Pick a card from your clock radio room and put it to hand. <laughs> Best brainstorm that, that Little Busters has. So <laughs> Even that's all it does. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all you needed. That's to all do. you needed to do. So yeah, whatever, right? <laughs> well, you say it like that. Yeah, I guess you're right. This card is useless, unfortunately. So because Wafu art, Wafu. Okay. Oh yes, this next card. Yes. Um, pretty much everybody that in my play group that. Uh, my personal playgroup that doesn't run Little Busters loves this card just for the art. Date Lovers. Uh, I guess that's Katakana there. Kanata. A red character, level 0, cost 0, 1500 power, with council chairman and twins. And this is a level 0 reverser that if this card's damage is cancelled, you can choose a card from their waiting room and put it on top of the deck. Well, this card technically has more competition against Yuko Mio because Mio is like total shit. I no no don't say that. Don't oh say come that. on, I, how I you can get seven stock. stock at level zero? I've done it. That must have been I a really the... long zero, level zero game. It was. It was. We kept canceling. I was I was facing against the sisters deck. Uh, all due comparison, Mio is worse than the other two right now. If you include this one, that is. Oh yeah, of course. Of course, this but this is no more, competition for Yuko. This one has more uh, end game use than uh, Yuko does. Yuko has more early game use. Only if you're going against going against runners, however. Yeah. Well, you can. Well, see, Yuko can also put uh, put a level three in its place, preventing it from clock kicking um, a certain card that you really want to stay on the field. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. But then you, be, the next card is gonna get gonna get uh, gonna end, up, gonna end up doing that instead. Well, at, le at least that card is a sacrificial pawn instead of like somebody, something that you really, really wanted to stay on the field, right? Between this one and the Yuiko, I think I would run the Yuiko more often. Obviously, this Kanata belongs in the Twins build. Um, if you're running the Twins, you run this card instead of the Yuiko now. So, you, yeah, you got a reverser. The first effect that that one, uh, about choosing the card from the waiting room, putting it on top of the deck, the Sword Saint Yuiko is much more reliable. But that card so has to reverse, though, doesn't it? But it's 500 power. You never know. To, to be honest, I, I, yeah. I can find this card. I find this card more useful than the Yuko deck. Because if the card does cancel, cancel in the early game, if you have more attackers, you can always stack the climax back on top, attack for free, and they'll still be at level zero. Assuming they're at zero five or zero zero four. That's true. At and level then, zero, this is a better top deck checker than the Yuko. And then at the and then at the end game, you can always if this card does get cancel, you can always if you have another attacker, just stack a just stack a. Whatever card, level three, level two, whatever card that you find more threatening, put a top, put a top deck and attack with a attack with one soul card. That card should get through. Yeah, I just like, like the whole idea of being able to sword saint three cards in a row, uh, putting putting two cards uh, for guaranteed damage and then putting a climax on top so they have to draw it. Well, you could do the same thing with this kind of kind well, of. You well, have the time is the time is off. Not... I know, I know the time is different, but. If you remember, there's also the 2-1 counter that can also do the same effect as well for one stock. So those are more reliable, per se, than this one. So if you're running it for that first effect, you're better off running those other two. Um, but being able to put this on a full package as one card is kind of well played for the Twins deck. So I think they will run this as a 3 of or 4 of for that endgame jive. So unlike the other two cards, I think this uh, the previous two cards, I think this one is actually going to be run. A Sniper Saya, blue, level 1, 0, 4, power with the weapons and sport trait. Uh, during your opponent's turn, for every other weapon character you control, this card gets 500 power. And tap two characters as a startup ability to give this card 2,000 power. Okay, besides Saya, who else has weapon? Um, Yuiko has weapon sometimes, depending on whether she's holding her sword or not. Uh, what's his name? Kengo sometimes is weapon. And that should be it. Card shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice it's a nice throw to Saya decks, but there, I don't think there's enough good Saya cards to make a legitimate Saya deck. I think I think Muscles is a better deck than Saya deck right now. <laughs> Car shit. That's all I have to say about you guys. You guys weapon, don't, weapon don't have enough support. Yeah, not enough support. All right, next card. Secretly training self, Sasami. Level 1 costs 0, 2000 power, animal and sports trait, and it's a 1k backup that if you have a sports character, you can give a battling character 1k, so it's a 2k counter if you have a sports character. It's basic for a sport deck or any deck that can, that can keep a, su a support back, uh, back row. And unlike weapon, sports has two guaranteed characters that always have sports, Sasami and Kengo. Uh, but do they have any particular support or any card they have? Oh just, no, there's not there's no like technical that. typical support for just sports in general, but unlike all the other counters that usually have this, it you just have to own one. You don't have to necessarily have it battling. Yeah, that's what I mean. Do they have some sort of support that actually stay in the back and actually uh, do global something? 500 during your turn and brainstorm. 
I think this will just be run of the Sasami deck, and that's about it. This will probably back up your Clock Encore Sasamis, and um, in case you don't really want to clock, uh, clock Encore that turn. Other than that, uh, I don't see this being run. All right. So, oh boy. Gotta say it, man. No, 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 no. I'm just reading the translation of the name on this card, and it's like, no, this is wrong. Wrong. Nope. What I'm reading is right, actually. Uh, well, <sighs> Doki Doki Donuts, really? Yes, that's what I say. Doki Doki Donuts. You might be more. You might be more literal. Doki Doki Donatsu. Yeah. Donatsu, I guess. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess. I mean, like, I had it translated as something else because Donatsu is also, like, a slang term for summer. So, um, this is, like, the feeling of summer, but it's, like, a, a second word pun. It's a level 0, cost 0, 1,000 power, sweets and fairy tale trait. Um, if this card is reversed and the opposite character is level 0, you can send it to stock. If you do, choose the bottom card of their stock and place it in the waiting room. As an activated ability, you can pay 1 to bounce the levels. Oh, you can stock a level 0, never mind. Yeah, you're never. You're probably never gonna use the uh, use the act the uh, standby effect. No man, no man. Why you do that? So this is the third or fourth um yellow suicider in mm, zero. Let me think about that for a second. There is accelerator. There is mm -hmm. the man in fate zero. And that's the mo that's the two most noticeable one I know of. The, those are the ones I was thinking of, but I think there may be a third one. If not, then this is the third one. Then either way, this is a common ability. It's it's it's, it's what you can expect from a lower suicider. The um, act I'm pretty sure no one will ever use unless they what do really want to get rid of a runner. But then what's the point? No, I I see an anti heal in the front row. It's oh yeah, but then it, you just reverse this. To send it to stock. Yeah, you just you just send that reverse it. it kept yeah, there's reverse there's it. no it, point it, to that no ability. Point. What? There's what? no point to the act. If, if, if you're going against against the anti heal, just send that card to stock. You cannot pay for the Why? effect anymore because the Why card's is that no longer in field. <laughs> Why is that effect there? There's no point. <laughs> you got to make they got, they had to find a way to make this card weaker, so they gave that ability that no one will ever use. <sighs> I guess. But making it weaker made it stronger. Normally, if you're like a 1500 and they can ram into you during their turn, but now that you're weaker than them, right, they can't do that. They're, they'll beat you. The second, the second effect is useless. You only use this card for the first effect. <laughs> it's so dumb. It is. It's, that second effect is dumb. Oh my goodness. I thought it was a bounce to hand. If it's a, put in the stock, then <laughs> it's completely useless. It's not going to be used. Uh, that second effect, anyways. Nice option for Kamari decks. Alternative to some of the other zeros, especially if they trigger on reverse effects. May see play as tech. That's really all there is to say about it, I think. Okay, um, so our next card, Touring the Stalls, Haruka. Level 1, cost 0, 4500 power with the Beads and Twins traits. If you control two or more other characters with Kanado or Haruka in their names, this card becomes a 6k Clock Encore character. Wow. That's actually pretty good, especially if it's... you play the Twins deck. Yeah, Twins deck loves this card. Wow, they have a costless Clock Encore again. No, I, 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 I didn't mean to say the word again. Like, they have they have a Clock Encore card that costs zero right now, but now they don't have to run the plus two soul co combo just to kill something. This card's better just because it's more powerful, it won't get Clock Encore baited so easily, and it's in green. Yeah, it's pretty relevant for Twins cards to be in green because, you know, all the good cards are in green. All the burn cards are in red, So, if, but you... Really, all the burn relies on having more of the Kanata cards. A more balanced deck runs more green than red. So yeah, good card. Good card. We'll be seeing it in play in Twins decks, three or four of. All right, and then this card. Happy Halloween, Kud. Level 1, cost 1, 6k power, blue character with animal and toys. If you have three or more other animal characters, this card gets 1,000 power, and it is a hand encore. At least that's more Ow. sustained than the 1-0 uh, Kud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. Animal finally gets an Encore that they can actually use. Ooh, I think this will be run as a 2 or 3 of um, in the Animal build, especially if you're running blue. Maybe as a 1 or 2 if you're, if you're not. Because this card is good for the sustain. It's 1 cost, so you don't want to run too many. And the green coot is still plenty good enough for power on most occasions. Yeah? I can see oh, this oh. being used in an Animal deck. Not too many, but enough to keep it around. Yeah. Especially since if you... If you if you see how animal level one build is like right now, it's usually one zero one zero one zero one 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 one, and then if they trigger climaxes, they're kind of fucked. <laughs> so at least this gives them an option to pay out stuff. If it happens, yes. I I tech in the one two event um in red, so I can pay out stock if I need to. Oh, but fair enough. 
Oh, wow. that's what but, I mean. If you fucked in climb our system, you can't do that either. Yeah, so this card is another alternative, and at least it's an animal character in a relevant color, instead of having to take an off-color card. Other than that, um, you're better off running this card for your stock-paying needs, and yay, sustain. So good little Buster's cards to round out the end of this week. And we finally move on to the Kapo Sakura Saku. And I'm going to defer to you for some of my analysis, because I admit that I don't know as much about the series as I'd like to. But even I can tell that this upcoming card is a good card. First card, new member, Sarah. Blue character, 1500 power, newspaper and sports. When this comes into play, you can pay one and ditch one to search for a newspaper or sports character. Show it to your opponent, add it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. Hey, a searcher for a newspaper. I should, be, I should actually correct you. It's actually when this card attacks. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. It's nor this, normally it's it, one of the it, new normally, ones. It, normally it's uh, when this card is played, but this one's in fact when the card attacks. Sorry, sorry. I, I got a little too carried away. Yes, this one has the new effect of when attacking, pay one, ditch one, search, which honestly makes it much better. To start much with, better than just an on-play. In terms of newspaper, newspaper only searcher was out on level three. That means it, technically they had no searchers. Yeah, that's why this card is amazing because I know that when I played against newspaper, I would never see them being able to get stuff without having to resort to um, a salvage effect from a different trait. And honestly, you sometimes didn't really want to do that. So hey, newspaper got a searcher at level zero, and it's an on attack searcher, which makes it amazing. Because if you manage to keep this around for more multiple turns, this card will basically filter out a lot of your cards in hand and get you exactly what you want. This it's is actually, a good it's card. It's actually quite easy to keep around because Newspaper has a card to give card hand on core and has cards to give the center to 1.5. That means this card yeah. can actually be at 4.5. And <laughs> so actually good. It could be 4.5 technically, but it could be like 3k hand on core. Yeah, and that, that's just gravy in and of itself because you can just ditch a card that you don't want and then ditch another card. Climax that you draw later on. Of course, there's so that good. merit of having to attack, so that means you, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot actually play the card you use. You just you search right away. Yeah, that's the only and downside. A, and the fact that it also has to attack. That means the card has to attack something. I guess. Still, it's generally better. It's generally, right? but it's generally better in on play because if this card stays around long enough, then it, you. Then you have all the ha you, you have all the hand filters. Yeah, and unlike in other games, discarding is just as powerful as just plain plusing. Uh, as far as sports goes, they don't have a searcher at all. So yeah, there you go. There you go. I don't, just I don't, let, I don't let's just throw much, it. I don't, I, I don't know how much how much how I don't know too much about sports, but their only plus card is that event, and if that event misses, they're pretty fucked. But yeah, um, as far as sports goes, um. They don't really have reliable search besides the level three, which by the, which is still at level three. So they, that means that pretty much still means they don't have a searcher. They don't uh, now they, they don't even have a salvager. So because all sport cards are like all sport cards are blue. So yeah, I I can see this card being used in both the newspaper and sport deck, uh, maybe two or three. It's like why is why is the couple getting so much better cards than Little Busters? It's like okay, here's here's something for your waifu decks. Here's something for your waifu decks. Here we go for the newspaper deck. Here's what you've been missing. It's well, like, newspaper, wow. newspaper is the, the series, the, the trait that's been lacking this since the since it came out. Well, it's the couple three only, right? Yeah, it's the couple three only. So because it's they're all in the newspaper it. club. Yeah, the newspaper club. Uh, speaking of newspaper help, um, the next card, Autumn Appetite Sh Charles. I, I keep c wanting to call her Shadowdo because that's her romaji. That, that, that's just her romaji, but um, yeah. I don't know. Red character, 500 power, newspaper, and student council. When this is reversed, pay one, ditch one, send this card to memory to search for a newspaper or student council. Then shuffle your... <laughs> Why is this a searcher? Wow! So, I can see this card being used in student council. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, as far as being used in newspaper, newspaper actually has no need of memory, so you're probably going to see Sarah more than the, Sarah more than Char, uh, Charles. I disagree, and for one reason, just because they don't need memory doesn't mean they can't compress. I know, I know, but um, I think well, they'll be a lot equal in newspaper. Well, it depends how you look at it. You you could, you definitely see this in a student in a student council deck just because they have they have a very heavy memory use. Yeah. In a newspaper, you won't see any memory use at all unless you're playing that card, then that's another story. Yeah. Both really solid cards to start off the the couple though. It's strange that this card's actually a bit weaker than the usual usual of the, usual of this effect. Is it because, well, maybe... it's, because it's just usual two traits? Yeah, remember when we were talking about the whole when it uh, changes for two characters, it straight has two different changes, and maybe it's just like it's two different effects of searching, just one for newspaper, one for student council. Yeah, so this card may see some use, but you're probably going to see sour more often in this one. 
and you're probably definitely gonna see this is Doom Council because they don't give a shit. <laughs> oh goodness. Not looking forward to those decks improving. Yep, Stu Council search for, I don't know, the Brains, no, the Global 500 maybe? No. Search for whatever they need. Yeah, let's go with that. Wow. Okay, next card. Uh, beside you, Kotori. Level 0, cost 0, 2000 power with the music and magic traits. Activated ability, you can place one music character from your hand to your clock, then rest this to choose a character from your clock and return it to your hand. Well, hello, hello there, Kotori enabler. Well, now that, now that uh, music decks don't re actually have to rely on a uh, shift ability for their huge power-ups. So, there's two types of music decks, and I run the latter, but the first one is this is the one that this one helps the music um, deck um, that use this kind of characters to clock um, use a lot of Kotori at level 1, 2 and even sometimes the 3 promo and how they would normally get the cards there is via the 1-0 counter and shift abilities um, though it required you setting up a turn um, before that so now this card allows you to essentially put cards um characters from your hand to clock as an activated ability so you don't have to even set up a turn you get your first you get to abuse you the get, one zero kotori right away yeah and the best and the, you don't you don't have to you don't even have to change cards from the clock because you can just take the same card put it back in your hand yeah <laughs> so good uh this is um good for two things obviously the first one is the, the it helps abuse the build second one is also ha it also fix your hand for cards you actually you, ha you can actually use mm -hmm. yeah because it only, doesn't the only time it, this card is actually useless is whenever you're at six o'clock because then you, it because do do the cost and effect and not necessarily because sometimes you just want to level and this gives you the option too i guess but then you just lose a card just to level you might as well just be playing wing slayer and do the same thing <laughs> true enough except the Kappa doesn't have a wing slayer type thing Oh god, if they did, I'm gonna kill myself. And I'll, be totally, I'll totally be playing that card at two. Fourth card, Important Wish Miharu. It's a red character, level 2 cost 1, 6,000 power with the mecha and banana traits. If you have three or more other mecha or banana characters, this card gains the following ability. Uh, well, it becomes a level 2 suicider, basically, that's what it is. And character encore. It's sad because um, there's already a better, there's already a better, better suicider. Which one? The card that suicides to everything. Oh. Do you mean the Brainstorm Suicider? No! A card that requires only an event in your memory, and then the card becomes a suicide to everything. Level, see that level see that level 3? It's dead. See that level See that level 21? It's dead. Oh. Yeah, kill, as, as long as there is an event, it, that, a certain event card, I think it's Banana Parfait. In, in yeah, memory. Banana Parfait sounds about right, yeah. And then the card becomes a suicide to everything. That can be suicide into, of course. Sheesh. So yeah, this card, and uh, the fact that that card already is already a banana card and a mecha card. It's level what two? Zero. Zero. Okay. But the, the fact, the fact, the, but the, you don't actually see that card until level two because the the event doesn't happen until level two. Yeah. So yeah, so you, all you do is keep the event in your in your, in your hand and just play as many of those. Um, is it Miharu or Minatsu? It's Minatsu. Yes, number. It's Minatsu. Because those are the, really the only two mecha banana characters. Yeah. Um. So I don't think this card would be any use as long as that card still exists. Uh, to be fair, you don't have to run. You don't have to run those two cards, and this card does create a combo by itself. Like it's a one card combo, but it's also much weaker. So <laughs> there is that. I'd rather go to two card combo. It's easier than just pick. It's easier to just try to get that event. Yeah, fair enough. Of course, uh, because I'm not sure there's enough uh, mecha or banana supports to keep this card going. Uh, this is one of those weird odd trait. This is one of those weird odd secondary traits that no one use, no one really plays. Okay. Um. Next, Sleepyhead Nanaka. Level one cost zero, six thousand power with the music and magic trait. It's a shift level one that gives the opposite character plus one soul. Hey, it's a level one shift. Yay, you got a level one shift. You don't have to rely on those level zero a support a uh, shift or the level two Coco shift, which is I don't know. That card doesn't really fit with my playstyle, but it's there. And having an opposite character gain plus one soul is all right because you're taking so much damage anyways that you're probably going to cancel. Oh, that's so. Bad. And always not castle. Well, uh, or yeah, or yes, unless you have my kind of luck. <laughs> Anyways, it's definitely a decent card. I think we'll see play as a two of. And all right, Minatsu in a swimsuit, Mecha and banana trait, zero zero two k power, brainstorm, uh, non uh, brainstorm spammable type, uh, climaxes, or for every climax you hit, uh, salvage one, ditch one, and it's four for the climax, uh, for the for the brainstorm. It's this one is pretty much uh, tech of. Second card for every other trait besides newspaper because newspaper already has its own brainstorm. So the couple, this is the couple's first brainstorm of this kind, right? Technically, yes, but um, 
Newspaper already had one for a long time. Newspaper had this kind, but it's but it's a, it's a straight up plus one. It requires itself to rest. But the thing is, oh, okay. so, they had so many they have so many brainstorms that it doesn't really matter. I think this is okay. You probably see you might see this in the couple decks as a tech in, but no, but no, nothing, no more than that. Fair enough, I guess. I and... mean, like if you look at it, still count. If you look at it, still council only brainstorm plus two k, and I'm pretty sure they'd rather have this. Yeah, yeah, they would. As for magic, they have their own brainstorm kind of. Well, that card's also splashable to everything, but yeah. Well, this card gets splashy even more because it's salvage discard. Yeah, no, there's not much to say about it. It's splashable to it's splashable to every deck besides newspaper, oh, but only it's not only not to newspaper because it has its own it has its own it has its own brainstorm. Uh, okay, not much else to say then. Okay, uh, next card: Shiki in a swimsuit. <sighs> Level 0 cost 0, 2,000 power, student council and discipline committee. Uh, when it comes into play, it's a top deck check. You can put it in the winning room or on, and leave or leave it on top. Uh, you can also rest two characters as an activated ability to choose a student council and give it 1,500 power. Um, is, is it just me or is this, is this the first bad card? Well, to start with, student pa- council didn't really have a, power, didn't have a high power thing to go, with, to go along with anyways. So I guess um, some people might, uh, might play it. The the whole top deck check is not it's always it's always a decent thing to have. Yeah, top deck check is all right. It hel- also helps set up your whole. Hey, if the top card deck is a student council, then guess what? I I'm going to memory. No, that one has to attack first. It wouldn't matter. It would tra- it wouldn't change anything. Kay. This one I don't really see this in too many student council decks because they'd rather have stuff that actually does something. Yeah. You know I mean, like deep I can still see some some decks use it as the power booster because they don't they don't really use their back row for resting for anything. And they have a serious. Oh, lack. okay. They don't really have. They don't have a. They have a serious lacking of um, power as well. So it, it helps both ways. At the same okay, time, you won't, bad, see this, you, you won't see this card like a little bit more than a turn as if it's not if it's not being one of the cards being tapped. Okay. Basically, see it once at level zero, and then you'll see it either in the back row or never again. Okay. No, you might see this more than once. Uh, more like maybe more in the end game, but that's about it. Yeah. I guess cards, uh, card like uh, the new level three Rika would make would totally make use of this card. Hmm. Okay, okay, um, next card. Returning Headmaster, Sakura. Low yellow character, level 1 cost 0, 5,000 power with the magic and teacher traits. At the start of your Encore step, if the Climax Dreamlike Scenery is on your Climax Zone, you may place this card in your memory. If you do, at the start of your next turn, you can bring it back from memory and play it on any border on your st- uh, any place on your stage and that character gets 3500 power until the end of this turn said Climax is a stock and plus one soul, a yellow stock one soul. I'd like to say Time Machine Miku, but it's not plus one. Was Time Machine Miku the only run because it was a 2k one? No, I'm pretty sure people people used to, people used it even if it wasn't. I'm pretty sure people still use Time Machine Miku even if it wasn't a 2k one. Still, uh, but, this... but but 2k one is more is more helpful than more helpful than uh, stock one so at times. Yeah, true. So now I guess here's the here's the funny thing. This is the third time now that it's. Uh, printed. Time Machine Miku was the first, no, and that's why we're... fourth, actually. Four? Yeah, the, the first the first one is obvious Time Machine Miku. The second one is in Chin-Chan. Oh, I missed this one in Chin-Chan, sorry. It's like they're trying to degrade the climaxes, if you look at it. It's like 2k1 in... Uh, in, ta- 2K, in uh, 2k1 in uh, Time Machine Miku. T- time, 2k1 in, ta- in uh, Chin-Chan. Chin-Chan. And what was, it, what was the one in uh, Nisekoi? Uh, plus 2 Soul, I believe. Plus 2 Soul? GG. Um, yeah, it sounds like they're trying to degrade the, the climax, but I'm That's sure what it really sounds like. It's like it's getting worse and worse and worse. Can we make this effect unplayable? And my opinion is, this is probably one of the few times where Stock 1 Soul 1 could actually be played. To be honest, uh, Stock 1 1 Soul is more, hel- more helpful in terms of actual, the actual damage, and in the worst case, if the card does die, just send it to memory, bring it back, do it over again. You'll typically send it to memory anyways, right? You'll, you'll end up sending it to memory anyway, so whatever. So yeah, uh, to be honest, I think this is an actual up from a 2k1. I, I think it's a little bit down. A little? A little bit down, and only because it's... It's, pow- it's, a, lacking, it's a bit lacking in power. It's 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 a yellow card with magic. Oh yeah, that's the thing too. Yeah, that's also the thing. The yellow card magic. When you play yellow card magic, you click Himeno, and you're only playing a 2k1. Yeah, <laughs> see? <laughs> like, it's the color trait combination. But if you play a yellow yellow only magic deck, that's another story. Yeah. No. Who am I kidding? Anyone who plays magic will play Himeno. So there you go. Any any magic deck, any common magic deck will be playing Himeno, and the Himeno already eats up for your for your climax. Now I think about it, yeah, there's no room in ma- in a uh, actual staple magic deck. It's too that's bad too. That's too bad too because uh, magic had a also has a lack in power in terms of level one as well. Well, maybe they could run it as a three three two then. But you don't really want to. Re- to, to degrade the Himeno, but okay. 
Yeah, because if you really lack in power, you kind of really want it's this, not especially. That, it's not that lacking in power, but this is just so much easier to deal, easy to work with. Yeah, of course. All right, uh, next card: Summer Memories Himenal. Level one cost zero, four thousand power. Red character with the newspaper and swimsuit traits. When this is reversed, uh, reveal top card of your deck. If it's level one or higher, you put it in stock. As far as newspaper goes in level one, this it's there's no room for this. And if there was room, no one would be playing this. Unless you're a big Himeno fan. Hey, hey, hey. Just because I'm a Himeno fan does not mean I'd be still be using this card. No, no, no. I mean, like, like if you're running a Himeno fan build. No, and even then, they won't be using this. Really? Yeah. Himeno has, no, Himeno, has, Himeno has no need for extra star. And even then, Himeno already has a 1-0 vanilla. I'd rather be using that over this. Okay. It has, it has, it, it, it will have to compete against all the Rika cards. It, Turns a Rika card plus five hundred every newspaper and give uh, give a card two uh, K. You know, and all of those cards are already five hundred five hundred power bigger than this card. So yeah, this card has some um, really stiff competition if you really want to compete at the one zero newspaper newspaper run. And, Which uh, means it, 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 it won't it won't be played. I mean like you'll... I mean like it have it also has to compete against the uh, the um, I forgot her name, but it's pretty OP. We have a climax on top. Mikoto. Mikoto. All oh, right, because the one with Tsukunami, right? Okay. Because um, if it because in that for that card, if that card hits, if that card reveals a climax, just instantly kill a level one lower. If it misses, it becomes a four K for the turn. See, that's the difference. See, that's the thing. It becomes a four K for the turn, which is the exact same amount of power as this card has. I mean, I rather and because this requires a level level one and higher. Yeah, this is it's like saying you have a half chance to hit or not. So, so bad. Yeah, this card. Oh, should I also mention this card also comes in SP. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, this card. This, this is, card's this been is confirmed. The sign. This card. This card's been confirmed. The SP. Are you getting it? The, the sign? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, You're I'm, not playing I'm, it. I'm, ever. I'm not. I'm not playing it. Um, this card is pretty bad. No one will use it. Uh, it has. It has to compete against three different cards, and all three are better than this because one of them is your staple. The other one gives other cards 2K, which is quite hot. Which is quite a lot for just an on-play effect. The other one has a set. Has a easy, has a easy plus one and because of 4K even if it misses the plus one. Wow. Yeah. With that with that as evidence, yeah, I can't I can't back it. Yeah. Even uh, though it's like my fifth favorite character, so I I think I know what you're talking about though. I mean, like I totally find a, if I could play the SP, I would totally find a way to play the SP. But you know, if I get the SP and I ever end up getting the SP, I might um I might just slightly reconsider somehow fit it in. As a one of. As a one of, obviously. That won't ever see f play on the field. Nope, probably not. Unless I'm really desperate for stock, because uh, newspaper does have a have a need for stock. Okay, finally, honest feelings, you may zero zero four k magic character. Uh, when this comes into play from your hand, reveal top card of your deck. If it's a level zero or lower, rest this card. You know, funny thing is, oh wait, level zero or lower? My bad. I was I was about to say I was about to compare it to Roy and Iron Master, but I realized that it's that. But this one's different. It requires, this one requires a level zero or lower. Roy requires a climax. Uh, the funny thing is, like, Habit already has a better card in Magic. What is it? Uh, you know the uh the culture card that um just you know played. It point reviews the hand if it has a climax. Just uh. Just yeah, I, yeah. That one. I run it. Yeah, that card's a Magic card. Oh right, that's Magic, right? That card's Jesus, Magic, magic. card. It's magic card and it's in more relevant in color because you would you rather have green and more green than red. I mean I can totally see some people play it if they don't have access to it. Parks is a top deck checker technically, right? Yeah, uh, it counts as a top deck checker, yes. I don't Which know. Is why I never understood why these ones are four thousand and the ones that went on a, on attack if the top card is a climax minus three K are only thirty five hundred. It never made sense to me. Yeah, I've uh I don't have any idea about it. Um it's funny, uh the capo has a lot of four K cards at level zero. Yes, they do. They have like what three for every trait at least. They have two. They have one for music. Uh, two for magic now. Wait, what? One for music? The Kotori? They have the Coco that can't direct attack. No, the Kotori card I just told you. Yeah, no, no, I said, but I'm saying like, they have more, more than one. Well, never mind. Forget it. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many they had in music. I never checked the music trait. Uh, music is the only one that I play. So. <laughs> uh, they, I say this is their second one from. For magic because they don't really have a bigger card they don't really have a big card there is one in newspaper which uh without a doubt probably probably one of the easier one to play um they have a lot of 4k cards but i don't think this one will see any use because the culture one is just better yeah i can see that i'm not i think it's a little premature to say that it won't see any play i think it does function as a top deck checker for those decks that don't really want to run any other top deck check abilities but it will definitely be run way less than the kotori overall 
It's Anyways, I yeah, think it's... we're done with all the cards of the day. Oh, well, the cards of the week, early. So yeah, uh, as far as new information came out, um, so because this was announced a week ago when we didn't do our show full podcast uh, last week, um, Persona Q has been pushed back a week. So now instead of being released on the, uh, let me check my calendar. Well, okay, Persona is now moved to the twelfth uh, of twelfth of September, so it's just been pushed a week back. Yes. So it's not that too big of a deal, but we might. That also means we might see another car, uh, week of Takara days for that. Um, and Iron Master the movie has finally been given a date. Which uh, was one one two eight, right? Yeah, one one two eight. Uh, that means November. That means November twenty fifth, two thousand and fourteen. You mean twenty eighth? Yeah, the twenty eighth. That's be one very expensive month for me. In the English side. Um... On the same day that the announcement of the Persona Q got pushed back a week, the fairy tale English set got pushed up a week. So instead of December 19, it's now being uh, released December 12. Yeah, it's like they decided to get, it's like they decided to transfer weeks for some dumbass reason. Well, I don't understand how that works, but because I know that the printing press for the English game is from Singapore, not from Japan. So I don't know. It's it's interesting. Uh, not much else to be said. Um, for releases. Other than that, I think we're done here. Yep. Uh, we'll all see you later. Uh, probably next week. As uh, we cannot remember our leader's name, so we'll leave it at that. So we'll talk, we'll, <laughs> as we'll, uh, he would say. Anyways, uh, um, make sure to rate, comment, or and or like our uh, video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave us an email or comment down below. Otherwise, uh, we will see you next time.